Hi, my name is Dr. Capital. I'm an original and cover music artist. I am a music educator, and I'm a J-pop YouTuber. My do, Dr. Capital desu. Ongaku hakase asakai ni doctor ya ne. Nice to see you today. I love to perform and create music, and I love to teach. I also love doing song diving, and that's what I want to do with you today. Song diving, it might sound strange, but it's actually very simple. When you listen to a song that you love passively, it's a lot like looking at the surface of the sea. It could be very beautiful, inspiring, sometimes it's relaxing, peaceful. It can even be powerful and dramatic, but it's all just the surface. When we listen to music, the movement of the music creates waves that we kind of flow on top of as we listen. Song diving is when we listen into the music, when we pick a spot in the song to anchor to, and then we go down and look at the details. There are countless treasures inside of every song. Every single note and nuance is very interesting when you look at it carefully and closely. Then, after you've done a song dive. You come back up to the surface and just listen again, normally, without overthinking anything. It's the same exact music you heard before the dive. Nothing has changed, but the way you hear it sounds different. It might sound more vivid to you, more detailed, maybe even more immersive and more emotionally powerful every time you do a dive. Music is powerful. We know that music can energize us. Music can help you to cry. Music can change your life. When I was a little boy, I saw the movie Back to the Future, and my life was changed by the Chuck Berry song, Johnny Be Good. I heard it, and I had to become a musician. And I'm not the only one. The Beatles, the Rolling Stones, Jimi Hendrix, Bruce Springsteen, and on and on, Countless amazing genius artists in the last, you know, 60, 70 years have been inspired by this. What an amazing way to start a song. It just takes off like a rocket. How does it have this impact that inspires so many people, including me? Well, let's take a dive. The first thing I notice is it starts all of a sudden, loud and fast. It might not have such impact if we played it a little bit quieter and slower. Same notes, but this musical expression actually creates a physical response in us. Wow, boom, lift off, surprise. Another thing I notice is the range of the notes themselves. If I'm playing it here, it's kind of like an alarm going off. What if I play the same exact rhythm, with the same notes, but just a lower version? Okay, that sounds cool too. It still kind of comes out of the gate suddenly. It's got this kind of like a fast rhythm. It's exciting. But it doesn't really feel like, wake up, here I am. Pretty interesting. Okay, while we're down here on this dive though, I just noticed something else. This feels like it's in groups of three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. But actually, the song Johnny Be Good has a groove in a beat of four. We're down in Louisiana, close to New Orleans. One, two, three, four, one. Can you clap with me? One, two, three. And count with me. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Keep going. One, two, three, four. 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 Wow, 皆さん、リズム感ええな。めちゃめちゃええな。Fantastic. Thank you. 
Uh, did you notice that when I was playing one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, in the middle of our one, two, three, four, it doesn't quite fit exactly. It feels kind of wild, right? And it maybe pulls us a little bit off balance. And the feeling of balance is related to the feeling of motion. That off balance gets us moving. Really interesting. So we've spent a couple minutes now exploring some uh, of the details under the sea in Johnny Be Good. Let's just listen to it again now. It's still exactly the same music, just as exciting, but maybe when you heard it this time, it's a little bit more vivid. Maybe our exploration made us a little bit more sensitized to the expressive details. Let's fast forward to a more recent hit song, Harry Styles' As It Was. This is a huge global hit that is moving the hearts and bodies of millions and millions of people. This melody that I just played, the instrumental melody, is infectious. How does it have that infectious power? Let's go for a dive. So, the first thing I notice is... It sounds like it's repeating, but not exactly, okay? Every other time it goes from higher notes to lower notes. So there's this catchy familiarity every time it repeats, but it's balanced with an intriguing freshness. All right, very interesting. Let's check out the chords, because I also noticed that the chords change. The first chord. Da -da -da -da. Wow, this chord feels really beautiful and joyous. Kind of like you're in love. Da -da 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 -da. Then when it repeats, the chord changes. Da -da -da -da. This chord feels more melancholy, like maybe some loneliness and struggle. Then the third chord. Da -da -da -da. Wow. This one feels powerful, strong, charged up and ready to do something. Da -da 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 -da. And finally, da -da -da -da, the fourth chord. Ah, this one feels like coming home and relaxing. So the chords are actually taking us on an emotional journey. Okay, and plus, Harry's um, vocal melody is also full of very expressive details that make the flow feel really authentic. I'll show you what I mean. In this world, it's just us. Same three notes. But then, leaps up. You know, it's not the same as it was. That was a surprise, refreshing time when he leapt up, and then he worked his way back down to the same notes again. Repeats. In this world, it's just us. Surprise, a brand new note here. So again, this balance of repetition with freshness. These kind of little details, how it changes a little bit over time, is one of the things that makes us feel like the music is really following his emotional state rather than prescribing some kind of formula for his emotions. Okay, that was a very interesting song dive. Let's go back up and listen to the song. Gravity's holding me back I want you to hold out the palm of your hand Why don't we leave it at that? Nothing to say When everything gets in the way Seems you cannot be replaced And I'm the one who will stay Oh, oh, oh. In this world It's just us same as it was in this world it's just us you know it's not the same as it was as it was as 
as it was You know it's not the same Thank you. That song is so catchy and so beautiful, but now that we've done the song dive, it feels even more catchy to me than it did beforehand. So song diving is what I call what we're doing right now, but it's also called music theory. What? Yes, music theory. Now, a lot of people are afraid of the word music theory. They think it means that you're going to take the life out of music and replace it with rules and numbers and very complicated terminology. Well, it's true, there have been a lot of music theory teachers who have taught the subject in a lifeless way, okay? But for me and my students, music theory is song diving. We want to go inside the music, look deeper and deeper and deeper, closer and closer to find out exactly what's happening so that we can figure out how it works. Because of the beautiful and complex detail in a lot of music, the numbers and terminology are actually really helpful once you learn them. But there are no rules. Of course there are no rules. It's music. How does being a song diver affect me as an artist? How does it influence the music that I write? Well, I don't write a song thinking about formulas or analytical things. Of course, I'm just following my heart and my inspiration when I write music. But being a song diver has given me the tools to translate my inspiration directly into the exact notes. I know how to find every single sound I'm looking for, so I can make music that is most authentic to me and personal. On that note, I'd like to end with a little bit of one of my original songs, Leda. I wrote this song in Brazil, heavily influenced by Brazilian guitar music, and also, of course, classic rock like Chuck Berry's Johnny Be Good and modern pop like As It Was. Thank you very much. <laughs>